Have you ever considered how a nation not directly involved in a conflict can influence its outcome? This is a question that finds its answer in the story of the Suez Crisis, where India, a non-combatant nation, played a significant role. The Suez Crisis, often referred to as the Second Arab-Israeli War, was a diplomatic and military confrontation in late 1956. The main players were Egypt on one side and Britain, France and Israel on the other. The conflict was rooted in the nationalization of the Suez Canal by Egypt's president, Gamal Abdel Nasser. This move was seen as a threat by the European powers who had significant economic and strategic interests in the canal. The Suez Canal, a man-made waterway connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, was more than just a maritime route. It was a strategic and economic lifeline for Britain and France, providing the shortest sea link between Europe and Asia. The nationalization of the canal struck a nerve with Britain and France, leading them to concoct a plan with Israel to regain control. The trio launched a military attack on Egypt, sparking an international crisis. The world watched as the conflict threatened to escalate into a full-blown war. Even as bullets flew and tanks rolled, diplomatic efforts were in full swing to defuse the situation. The United Nations, newly formed superpowers like the United States and the Soviet Union, and other nations were drawn into the crisis, each trying to tilt the scales in their favor or maintain a delicate balance. In this sea of turmoil, there was an unexpected player, India, who played a significant role. How? Let's explore. Let's. In the midst of this crisis, India positioned itself in a unique way. Nestled in the heart of Asia, India was not a direct participant in the Suez Crisis, but it was far from a mute spectator. India, under the leadership of its first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, had always been committed to a policy of non-alignment. This meant that India would not side with any major power blocs in the Cold War, but would instead maintain an independent foreign policy. This stance was also reflected in India's approach to the Suez Crisis. Nehru was a staunch believer in peaceful resolution of conflicts. He was of the conviction that any conflict, however big or small, could be resolved through dialogue and mutual understanding. This belief was the cornerstone of his diplomatic approach, and it was this belief that shaped India's initial stance on the Suez Crisis. When the Suez Crisis unfolded, Nehru was quick to voice his concerns. He made it clear that he was not in favor of any military action and called for a peaceful resolution. He believed that the use of force would only escalate the situation and cause unnecessary suffering. Nehru's statement set the tone for India's approach to the crisis. India took a balanced stance, not favoring any one side, but instead advocating for peace and dialogue. It was a stance that was in line with its policy of non-alignment and its commitment to peace. But this stance was not just about maintaining neutrality. It was a commitment to principles, a commitment to peace and a commitment to dialogue. It was a stance that reflected India's growing confidence and its desire to play a more active role in international affairs. So we see India stepping up on the international stage, but what impact did it actually make? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll see how India's stance on the Suez Crisis played a significant role in shaping the course of events and how it helped to establish India's reputation as a peace-loving nation committed to non-alignment and diplomacy. India did not remain a silent observer, but actively engaged in diplomatic negotiations. The Suez Crisis marked a turning point in India's foreign policy, with the nation stepping forward to play a significant role in international diplomacy. India's actions during the crisis were driven by its commitment to peace and non-alignment, a principle that guided its foreign policy in the post-independence era. India's diplomatic efforts in the Suez Crisis were led by its then Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. Nehru was a vocal critic of the military intervention by Britain, France and Israel and took swift action to bring the crisis to the attention of the United Nations. India proposed a ceasefire and called for the withdrawal of troops, a move that was in line with its policy of peaceful coexistence. In the United Nations, India was instrumental in driving the resolution that demanded an immediate ceasefire and withdrawal of troops. The resolution, backed by the United States and the Soviet Union, was adopted with an overwhelming majority. 
This was a testament to India's diplomatic prowess and its ability to rally international support for peace. India also played a pivotal role in the formation of the United Nations Emergency Force, a peacekeeping force deployed to ensure the ceasefire was upheld. The proposal, initially put forward by Canada, was supported and shaped by India. The presence of the United Nations Emergency Force marked the first time an international peacekeeping force was deployed to manage a crisis, setting a precedent for future peacekeeping missions. The international community's response to India's diplomatic efforts was largely positive. India's stance on the Suez crisis was seen as a reflection of its commitment to peace and non-alignment. The nation's diplomatic maneuvers were praised for their effectiveness in bringing about a peaceful resolution to the crisis. India's diplomatic maneuvers were instrumental in shaping the resolution of the crisis. Despite being a relatively new player in the international arena, India demonstrated its diplomatic finesse during the Suez Crisis, setting the stage for its future role in global politics. India's role in the Suez Crisis had far-reaching effects. The ripples of India's actions extended well beyond the immediate crisis, shaping the course of international politics and the nation's own future foreign policy. India's involvement in the Suez Crisis was a testament to its diplomatic prowess. India's active mediation and its call for dialogue and peaceful resolution were instrumental in diffusing the crisis. India's diplomacy didn't just help resolve the Suez Crisis, it also set a precedent for peaceful conflict resolution on the international stage. But India's role in the Suez Crisis did more than just resolve a conflict. It boosted India's standing in the world. India's balanced stance and successful mediation efforts were recognized and lauded by nations worldwide. This recognition cemented India's position as a global player and a leader among non-aligned nations. India's role in the crisis was also a catalyst for the non-aligned movement. It demonstrated that neutrality didn't mean inaction. India showed the world that non-aligned nations could play a pivotal role in international politics and provide leadership without being a part of any major power bloc. This was a game-changer. It paved the way for the increased involvement of non-aligned nations in global affairs, shifting the dynamics of international politics. India's involvement in the Suez Crisis also had a profound impact on its own foreign policy. The crisis served as a litmus test for India's policy of non-alignment. India was able to successfully navigate the crisis while maintaining its neutral stance. This reinforced India's commitment to non-alignment and shaped its future foreign policy. It underscored the importance of diplomacy, dialogue and peaceful resolution, principles that continue to be the pillars of India's foreign policy even today. India's involvement in the Suez Crisis was a turning point, not just for India, but for the entire world. It was a demonstration of the power of diplomacy, the importance of neutrality in conflict resolution and the potential of non-aligned nations to shape international politics. The Suez Crisis was a pivotal moment in the 20th century and India's involvement was key. As we venture further into the depths of this historical event, we can see how India's role in the Suez Crisis was instrumental in shaping the course of international politics. The Suez Crisis, a major geopolitical event, was a testament to the complexities of the post-colonial world. India, a newly independent nation, was navigating its own path in this intricate global landscape. India's initial stance on the Suez Crisis was that of neutrality, in line with its non-aligned foreign policy. However, as the crisis deepened, India's role evolved from a passive observer to an active mediator. India's Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru championed the cause of peaceful resolution, pushing for diplomatic negotiations and advocating for the respect of Egypt's sovereignty over the Suez Canal. Through diplomatic channels and the United Nations, India was able to rally support for its stance, displaying a nuanced understanding of international dynamics. The Indian delegation's efforts at the United Nations were instrumental in facilitating a ceasefire and eventually leading to the withdrawal of invading forces. The impact of India's role in the Suez Crisis was far-reaching. It bolstered India's position on the global stage, showcasing its diplomatic prowess and commitment to the principles of sovereignty and peaceful coexistence. Furthermore, it solidified the ideology of non-alignment, proving that nations could exert influence without being tethered to the power blocks of the Cold War. In retrospect, 
The Suez Crisis was a defining moment in India's foreign policy. It demonstrated that a nation, even one that was newly independent and thousands of miles away from the epicenter of a crisis, could wield considerable influence in international politics. Who knew that a nation thousands of miles away from the Suez Canal could have such a profound impact on a crisis? It's a testament to the power of diplomacy and the influence of non-aligned nations in global politics.